Oh, welcome ladies and gents, the hilarity that is Disney continues. We've now uh, got some kind of figures uh, for Willow. So, Disney, Lucasfilm. When Disney bought Lucasfilm, they were primarily buying Star Wars. There's not a lot of properties that Lucasfilm is well known for. Uh, it's Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Willow? Kind of? <laughs> There's not a lot that they're known for, right? Like, it is Star Wars. You buy Lucasfilm for Star Wars. But they have fumbled the bag at every single turn. Everything that they've made has been garbage. Everything that they've used in terms of their IPs have been garbage. And they have abused, degraded, and dwindled all IPs and brands that they have under Lucasfilm until they're now utterly worthless. In fact, I bet you anything, the value of Lucasfilm will be equal to, if not less than what they purchased it for, not adjusting for inflation. <laughs> Essentially, just bad. Like, they've absolutely destroyed it. So, this is quite funny because, obviously, if you didn't know, ladies and gents, uh, Willow, bit of a cult classic. Didn't really do very well at the time, but, you know, a bit of a cult classic, well-liked by a small minority of people. And it is a minority. It's not on the, the scale of Star Wars. They brought it back, didn't they? They brought it back uh, to a TV series, a sequel, not focusing on Willow. Focusing on something else. Uh, and it bombed. In fact, it was really, really, really much maligned. Uh, this was going to be a premiere TV series. They were going to have many, many, many iterations of it. Like, at least two seasons anyway. They poured a lot of money into it. And they binned it off after six months. Cancelled. Done. In fact, as far as I'm aware, it's one of the first cancellations that they've had uh, at Disney+. Plus. Now, we're going to dive into this today real quick, ladies and gents. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on and share the video. YouTube is sandboxing this channel. It gets shown to about 5,000 new people a day. That's really shit. So thanks, YouTube. But you can do your bit and support your favorite content creator. I would appreciate that. Uh, and if you hear a bit of a whirring, weird whirring sound, I'm rendering an hour-long vlog for my car channel. Link is in the description box. People always wonder why I like Datsuns. Well, there you go. It's in the description box. Side note, it's not an explanation for why I should like them. It's an explanation why I should never work on them ever again. So let's take a look, ladies and gents. So, uh, Disney spent $106 million on Willow and then just shit-canned it six months later. $106 million. Again, Lucasfilm destroying brands. The destroyer of IPs, Kathleen Kennedy. Lucasfilm as a company, if you were just to separate it from Disney, they must be so much down the toilet in terms of debt. I mean, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny alone, that that's a substantial chunk of change. 300 odd million dollars that they've lost, actually. And then Willow? I mean... That is all. I mean, they've done a write-down on it. So it's $106 million write-down. So technically it's a tax write-off. But they still did pay it out. So that's 400 I mean, you're looking at... E and Star Wars The Acolyte is like a $250 million TV series. For Disney+, Plus. that doesn't make money. I mean, that's another $250 million actually physically down the drain. You're not going to get that money back. You can work on like depreciating assets and stuff. But you're never going to get that back. That easily, easily, half a billion in debt, Lucasfilm. Easily. It's insane. Absolutely insane that Kathleen Kennedy is not fired yet. It really, like, truly is bizarre. So there's a new report from Forbes revealing that Disney spent over $100 million to produce its Willow sequel TV series, only to abandon it six months after its premiere. So where did the Disney Plus Willow series go wrong? On paper, a revival of a popular fantasy film for a fresh new streaming service bearing the Disney logo seemed like it would be a recipe for success. No, because it was just a cult following. It, was, it wasn't a hugely popular film. It wasn't. You know, it was reasonably liked. But it was not on the scale of Star Wars. You don't pay $100 million for a TV series. That's stupid. Again, it's not Game of Thrones. There's a big difference here. However, the series debuted to mediocre, uh, mediocre reviews uh, and never found a huge audience. So the sitcom received... The sitcom 
received uh, just 0.24 million viewers each episode, according to Nielsen's ratings. Point two four million, holy shit! So this is an extremely low score uh, for a streaming series, implying that there was little interest in the show. That's a like a is that point two four on the rating, or is it two point four million viewers? Because they're saying it's a low score. Maybe uh, one of the two. Anyway, so a new report from Forbes revealed that Disney spent a hundred and five point nine million dollars to produce the show, and then they purged it from the platform. Now the reason why they purged it. Uh, again, is a tax write down, so it, it's basically it's a write off. It's where well, we can just f f claim it from tax. It will never be seen again. We have to get rid of it, but it's tax. Cool, no worries. Uh, on May twenty sixth, twenty twenty three, just six months after it debuted, uh, on November thirtieth, twenty twenty two. Now, the funny thing about this is, is that this is, as far as I'm aware, it is the first known Disney Plus show to be cancelled that was planning. To have multiple shows or multiple series, should I say? So this is a, a, an abject failure of epic proportions, and just comically so. Uh, but they just best bleed money. So budgets for streaming shows are usually kept confidential, but because Willow was produced in the UK, and in order to qualify for the country's 25% tax reimbursement, Disney was required to disclose how much it spent. Now I think that's quite that's mm, that's funny. So although there are other factors tax related, Disney removed Willow and roughly 50 other shows. That's interesting, isn't it? So they get a they get a Mmm, that annoys me. They get a tax rebate from my tax, funnily enough. Uh, so they get 25% of that back, but then they've gotten a tax write down as well for tax purposes, so they can just write it off as an expense, I'm guessing, something along those lines. Ooh, fucking motherfuckers. But this is the thing how stupid is that? Uh, the original, it, wa it wasn't very profitable, so why would you do it? $35 million budget and $86 million worldwide. Why would you do it? Like, why would you bother? Stupid. Stupido. Anyway, thought you'd find this funny. I do. I need to get back to uh, some brake calipers for a Datsun 510. So I'm going to go now, but you can all have a good laugh at this. And if you go to my second channel, you can laugh at them as well. I, I, laugh at me at my expense. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, abject failure all round. Disney, Kathleen Kennedy, Lucasfilm, what a joke. <laughs>